I think I need to deposit some more money into my account. Welcome back to the Robinhood Investment Challenge. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made over $3,000 in my portfolio. Let's jump right into the app. If you wanna follow along on this Robinhood Investment Challenge, there's a link in the description that you can sign up and you'll get a free stock. Right now, I'm gonna open a free stock from some of my subscribers and hopefully I can get a rare stock. Thank you, Bradley, for using my link. And I'm gonna choose the one right in the middle. Hey, I got Sirius XM. I've gotten this before. Uh, Sirius XM is worth $6. Thank you. Thank you, Keaton. I'm gonna open the one all the way on the right side. Berkshire Hathaway, come on, baby. Zanga, I think Zanga is the share, the reward that I've gotten the most. This reward is uh, $5.30. All right, for the last reward, I'm gonna open this one from David. I'm gonna choose the one on the left. And like I said, the most common stock that I always get is Zanga, $5.30 again. I'm gonna open these stocks in another video, so if you wanna watch that, don't forget to subscribe. I've been investing in Robinhood consistently for the last six months. I started in uh, September. You can look back into my older videos and I documented, uh, I documented everything the whole way. One of the rules of this challenge is that I deposit $100 into my account every week. So for a whole year, that will be about $5,200. I try to grow my account as big as I can, normally through buying and selling stocks and collecting dividends. Um, at the moment, my stock is currently worth $3,051. On the day, I'm down about $30. But uh, if you can see on the week, I'm also down 100. And on the month, I'm up almost 300. On the three months, I'm up 400. On the one year, it's still around $400. Since September, I've deposited roughly around $2,400 to $2,500. So the bulk of my portfolio is through savings, through my savings and through uh, reinvesting in the stock market. The rest of the portfolio is mostly consisted of capital gains, collecting of dividends, and also referrals. Uh, I predict my referral rewards are around $200. So you shouldn't really count on that for the growth of my portfolio, but the capital gains and the dividends are where I, I shine the most, I think, in this uh, portfolio. I'm not much of a day trader. I tried day trading around two years ago, and this is what happened. I lost a lot of money. I lost about $500, and, uh, and that pissed me off pretty bad. I, I left the stock market, I completely sold everything, and it was only recently now that I was able to see any growth in my account because of um, my consistent reinvesting into my portfolio and the capital gains. Without that, I don't think I'll be anywhere close to um, recovering from that loss. If you wanna learn about penny trading, day trading, this is probably not gonna be the channel for you. But if you wanna learn about more fundamental investing, investing in monthly dividend stocks, investing in like regular dividend stocks that pay quarterly, annually, uh, is most likely they're gonna be the channel for you. So let's go over my $3,000 portfolio so you can see exactly what I'm invested in. The stocks that I'm invested in are on the right and the number left to that is exactly how much money, I'm in, um, how much money I have in that stock. Monthly dividend stocks are a staple in my portfolio and the top seven stocks here are all of the monthly dividend st paying stocks that I'm invested in. And I collect about $25 worth of dividends every month from these stocks. So for a, for a very small portfolio like mine, for, to be able to collect uh, that much dividends, I think it's quite impressive, but also quite risky. I've been aggressively uh, reinvesting into these monthly paying stocks, but I'm planning to slow that down a bit and invest into other uh, blue chip stocks that I wanna talk about. These next batches of stocks here, uh, some of them are growth stocks and some of them are also uh, blue chip stocks. These four companies at the top here, they don't pay any dividends and uh, all the profits are reinvested into the company to grow to grow the company uh, even faster. I've recently made videos about monthly investing stocks and growth stocks. If you wanna check them out, I'll leave a link in the cards. I'm almost done showing you this whole portfolio. So if you have been enjoying this video, don't forget to give me a like down below. So these four stocks here are what I'll be investing in for the foreseeable future. Uh, you guys know these companies. They're well known. They're big brands. First one is Apple. Um, at the moment, I only have one share. 
because the Apple price is just really difficult to get in for me. Um, one Apple share is worth $174. Apple is the top tech company in the world, well known. Um, I'm using an Apple phone right now. I use Apple AirPods. Uh, I have Apple Watch. Uh, I edit my all these videos on an Apple computer. Um, this is one company that I'm very familiar with and I'm pretty sure you guys are too. Uh, the market cap, $800 billion. Dividend yield is 1.2%. Um, great company, nothing bad I can say about them right now. Uh, I'll be investing in them for, I think from now until forever. The next blue chip stock I wanna talk about is AT&T. They're a telecommunications company. Um, the only downside at, that I see about AT&T at the moment is that um, they are on a serious downtrend. Um, over the last five years, they're down 6.5%. Over the year, they're down 15%. That is uh, that is a really big downtrend. But uh, on the month, it's kind of going sideways. On a three-month chart, it's going sideways. On the one-month chart, still going sideways. Not much growth here in the last few days as well. So my plan for AT&T is that I'll be investing in them, dollar cost averaging my way as they go down. And hopefully because they're such a well-established um, company and brand that uh, they'll find a way to start trending upwards uh, sometime soon, but uh, They they are on sale right now. So I'm gonna be buying them as much as I can at the moment I'm only in with three shares total equity $92. It's not much, but it is something um, Total returns at the moment is I'm down three dollars on this on this stock and If you look at the market cap, you can see why they're blue chip stock 226 billion dollar market cap dividend yield seven percent i think right now um robin hood app they uh they're really slow on updating all these stats so i think at the moment their dividend yield is closer to six six percent and these dividends are paid out quarterly so they get paid out four times a year on february 1st i received uh dividends of one dollar from i think it was two shares of uh this stock so this stock has a great dividend yield the only downside is is, uh, is trending down. So the price of AT&T, I'm not sure where it's gonna go right now, but but I'm gonna dollar cost my way in and hopefully um, this is on sale and it'll trend up very soon. The next blue chip stock that I'm invested in is Nike. At the moment, I only have one share, but it's $87. There's crazy growth in the last five years, 127, uh, 127%. It's really crazy growth. Market cap, $135 billion, uh, dividend yield, 1%. Nike is a leader in the athletic apparel and athletic sneakers. This blue chip stock is a great investment, I believe, and I'll be investing them uh, as much as I can. I'm, I'm so limited in how much I can invest, but I will find a way to invest, and I will find a way to earn uh, some shares of these companies. And the next stock that I wanna talk about is Coca-Cola, another brand name that everybody will know. You've most likely had some Coca-Cola. I think the only downside of Coca-Cola is that um, it is a unhealthy uh, habit. The dividend yield of Coca-Cola is also 3.3% and I believe they pay out uh, their dividends quarterly as well. I re the last time I received a dividend from um, Coca-Cola was on December 14 and I received about 40 cents from them. The rest of my portfolio is kind of a mixed bag at the moment. I have all these different types of companies in different types of industries, and a lot of them I've kept from the rewards received. I'm not really sure if I should sell them and reinvest them into other companies or just keep them. And right now, I don't really know what else to do with them, honestly. One thing I wanna say about my account is that I'm using the Robinhood Gold. Um, I'm paying $10 a month to borrow $2,000 for trading. If you guys are not an experienced trader, do not use Robinhood Gold. So be careful if, you are gonna, if you're gonna go that route. My portfolio is consisted mostly of savings uh, invested into the stock market. Like I said, it's about $2,400 to $2,500. I don't think there's really any way to uh, predict the future and you know pick the right stocks. But as long as you are learning about investing and get better and better at it, um, that's when your portfolio will grow the, the most, I believe. But if you wanna learn more about dividend stocks and uh, Robinhood investing, you can check out my links here on the right. If you watch these videos, you'll get a better understanding of why I invest in dividend stocks. So check these out. Don't forget to drop me a like and subscribe down below.